Hi Aries, welcome to my channel Aries. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the sign of Aries, please. This is a collective reading for the Aries sign. I will pick up the full moon and also a week ahead. Uh, we will pick up love, career, money, and general inspirationship, okay? What is the guided message for the sign of Aries, please? You have the Nine of Swords. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You have the Two of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles in here. You have a King of Swords. Something, some, something is sad. Or are you sad? Are you okay? The King of Swords, the Nine of Wands. You've got the Higher of One card in here. Okay. Someone is sad, Aries. The Knight of Wands is here. Someone is waiting for you. Someone is sad. Someone is into their feelings. You've got the Nine of Wands. You've got the Magician card. And you have the Ace of Cups. And so we start your reading. So coming into the recent past Aries you have a nine of swords you have a nine of swords you have a two of swords in here you know this is a situation where um, they overthink about your situation ship okay the nine of swords this is connect the nine of swords this is connected to a past situation which is up until now um, it's possible that you're not um, you're not getting some sort of straightforward reply, respond, or update because you are the two of swords. So this is something that it made you feel like it's a dead end, like it, like you're hitting the wall. Okay, with the nine of swords, the two of swords. I think you've decided to just ignore it. With the two of swords, you are intellectual, like it's an intelligent, you know, the two of swords. This is like an intelligent choice. Like this is an intellectual, intelligent choice, decision to not wait with the nine of swords. Because if you look at the nine of swords, they're processing a lot of swords and you're easy. You just need one sword. That's the Ace of Swords. That's the that's the sword of the truth in here. So you are so right, Aries. You are dealing with a person or a situation where they're complicating things for you and them. With the Nine of Swords and the Two of Swords in here, you are so right. Intellectually and intuitively, you've decided to put things into... Like your perspective of the situation is so correct they're overthinking and you don't have time to overthink because it's so simple to make a choice okay and i could feel aries that you like you you somehow you move on or you bypass or there's a feeling of i don't want to deal with you because our situation ship is simple it's just a yes or a no if you say yes let's make it happen if it's no then i'm gonna move on you're gonna move on but they put you in an overthinking um, energy. Like it's it's like maybe, okay? This person gave you a maybe. That's why you are reacting as a two of swords. Well, how can you not make a choice? It's so simple. It's a yes or a no, but they gave you a maybe. Um, this is like a metaphor maybe, okay? Um, so that's the background story of this past energy in here that that is up until this point they're very connected with you because right now okay right now aries the connecting energy between you you and this person is the seven of pentacles let's see wow it's a developing story with the five of cups and the four of cups this person or this situation aries they're thinking of how much like this person in this situation they're kind of thinking especially around the time of the full moon this person is heavily thinking of whether they would have a chance or if they make a move 
will I ever have a chance with you Aries I don't know what they did to you exactly this could be a friendship this could be romantic this could also be family but this situation is not connected to work and money okay this could be romantic this could be friendship this could be family because seven of pentacles in here they've lost you because they couldn't decide they've lost you because they put you in a timeout with the five of cups and the four of cups right now the real time energy between you and this person is they're considering to check in they're considering to say hi they're considering to connect with you and they're wondering you know with the five of cups and the four of cups how much chances would they get if they try so somehow this person is no longer overthinking they're already in more of a i'm gonna take action and how much success will they get from you and if they don't with the seven of pentacles in here if they're not successful look at them it's my fault i wasted your time aries i i made you wait okay so i think as we navigate towards the full moon aries this person is gonna shift into if i'm not gonna make this move i'm gonna regret it if i'm gonna move on without doing this urge to try i will regret it okay so the full moon in terms of people connection is pressuring them to reveal the decision because this is, this is overthinking okay this is overthinking they're over the they're done with overthinking and they're now moving towards um, with the five of cups and the four of cups they're now moving into i'm thinking of you and i miss you and how much would it like what is the success rate if i do take my initial take my chance okay um with the four of cups in here i think under the full moon this person is just going to do it okay um with the four of cups i feel like maybe you have a connected friend maybe this person will test the water with the four of cups maybe you and them have a common friend they'll probably ask your common friend about you and what are you up to what is your priorities like they kind of will check on you with a friend for some of you this person is going to like a photo gonna view your story it's just to kind of recalibrate and see what's gonna be your reaction so before they actually step into a full force action they will test the water they might send you a link they might forward you an email um, they might they might be very discreet first but they do have I'm hearing I don't know why I'm hearing the word sad offer I think they're sad because they did not offer it and now they don't want to be sad and now they want to offer it I'm hearing the word I don't know but I'm hearing the word sad offer sad movies you know like it's now they're sad like it, it's a person who is very emotional and sad because they did not offer it okay and they don't want to be sad and now they want to offer it and they're looking into the success rate if they move okay so they're gonna test the water um, I think more than anything uh, this person is probably around probably around probably post full moon after um, July 20 that this person will remove the I think they fear rejection but eventually they have to accept that part of what they did there is a probability of rejection the seven of wands you know what Aries I might as well do it I think you will caught them for some of you you will for some of you guys you will caught them like one of your photos and then unlike it so you might caught them like um you might caught them off guard it could be a friend of yours will report oh this person is asking you or it could be they would like your foes and then unlike them okay so they're doing lots of testing the water but eventually they will be annoyed with their own fear and they will just reach out so there's a lot of um layers of fear that they're like there's a there's a layers of emotional fear of rejection of you know maybe it wouldn't work out but 
because of their desire and sadness of not giving it to you they will eventually release the seven of cups and just do it okay um with the seven because it's struck they're, they're gonna struggle whoever this person is they will further struggle if they won't make a move it's like a torture to them aries if they won't make a move okay okay all right now that's the situation in the past that's still very much connected to you you have a king of swords this is an energy check thing. You have the King of Swords. You have you have the King of Swords. You have the Nine of Wands. And you've got the Hierophant card in here. Mm. I feel like for some of you guys, you're so ready. The Hierophant card, this is sitting... The Hierophant card, it is sitting... Um, this is what the universe and your higher self is encouraging you. Is that Aries, you're out of the woods nine of wands i don't know what is your priority but you are so ready to come out of your comfort zone because the nine of wands this is defensive and the king of swords the king of swords is in front of the nine of wands so you're out of the woods you are confident intelligent there's something that you kind of need to do it now before you lose the momentum the king of swords he's very intelligent he's very competitive and he has the ace of swords the sword of knowledge the sword of the truth so with the nine of wands like the king of swords is in front of the nine of wands commit to your focus commit to your focus commit to your ambition commit to yourself commit to whatever it is that you would like to achieve and you will get it it's time for you to take action and commit and get out of your comfort zone there's something in you that is ready um, intellectually there's something solid that would like to come out of you okay and I feel like under the full moon you will feel this solidify okay the king of swords in here okay and if you look at the there's a spark in here look at that so something under the full moon pre post full moon it is going to really give you the wisdom and the confident to go out of your comfort zone to go after what you want so committed and so confident okay i'm also picking up that there is a structure i'm hearing the word aries you can take a risk because there's a structure you know like there is a system there's a structure there's something that you would follow in a rhythm like i don't know what you're doing maybe it is an application maybe it is a job application but there's something that in the past you couldn't do it because there's no system right now it's very systematic and you can take it like something tells me whatever it is you're after in terms of ambition career money you can be re rest assured that there's a system in place and your intelligent your availability your king of swords is so matching the is so matching whatever is your after and i believe you know when i'm hearing the word systematic it it could be because you have more structure like um you know step by step how to do it versus in the past you probably are more immature in terms of your style working style a uh, communication style but with the king of swords in here you ha you now have a system or something is like you would have a system in place in terms of how you will chase whatever it is that you want to do okay you you got a go signal okay you have the go signal okay with the with the hierophant card in here like the universe is going to support you if you commit if you commit to put yourself into this project applying for a job or chase something you are so intellectually ready and you have a system in place okay you you're very systematic and your input is step by step it's very structured and if you follow the structured and i believe you will you're gonna get it okay you are a follower a believer so whatever this one is you're also very patient because what's coming towards you is the magician card okay i don't know it could be aries maybe in the past you were a risk taker and also very impulsive that some of the information that you have 
it's not enough for you to take a risk but you still take a risk well this energy after the full moon the way you're going to navigate like from july to december you will put a structure or a system in terms of how you're going to take a risk or how you're going to uh, chase something connected to life money career and project okay it's it's like you're beginning to understand that being a risk taker or involves some drive like action but it needs to be a step by step in here with the magician card you know in the past you like strike right now you are still very much that person but probably more mature like you would take a risk you would do it but you would put a structure you would do it step by step okay it's like calculated risk in here and because of that you're beginning like you're beginning a cycle where you would have less missed opportunity because the way you take a risk is very calculated like minimal error okay you've grown so solid so strong in terms like you're very experienced in terms of taking a risk or doing something connected to money aspiration like you're ready to commit again and i'm also hearing aries that don't worry it won't happen whatever took place in the past you have an ace of cups it could be that when it comes to love and relationship you would know how and who is the right person to take a risk with the ace of cups as well um, it could be because the ace of cups also connected to abundance so you would know how to start and put a structure and follow the structure follow the step-by-step -step process in terms of a new beginning okay but it's a good cycle there's a system in place okay and this is what i have for you aries thank you so much guys for supporting the channel thank you so much guys for being here if you would like to further connect with me click the bell click subscribe and i'll see you soon again guys you have a great day bye aries